Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to All About Angling and welcome to our very first Bankside vlog. Now, myself and Josh, we've come down to a little uh, sleepy corner of West Sussex this morning. We've come to a day ticket water that we don't know a great deal about. Uh, we know there's carp in here. Uh, we only know that because we've had one each out. Uh, Josh had a little nine pounder out. I've had an eight and a half pounder out, but they are beautiful looking little fish. But ideally, we'd like something bigger. But wouldn't we all? I know my wife does. Now, we're hoping for a couple of a couple of doubles. Uh, Josh is relatively new to carp fishing, and his PB is nine pounds. So his aim for this year was to obviously get a double pound, a double pounder, a double figure fish over the net cord. So hopefully, we'll be able to sort it out for him today. Unfortunately, the conditions are horrendous. Now, it's dry, which is never a bad thing. You'll never hear me moaning about that. However, the wind is absolutely brutal. Um, you know, we've bought lightweight camp chairs today, just trying to pack light. And both of them nearly ended up in the drink on several occasions, if you're not sat in them, which is not ideal. Uh, and to add to that, it is extraordinarily sunny this time of year. Uh, and obviously that's not ideal conditions for carp, but you know, we're getting bites, Josh has lost a couple, like I say, but we just got to keep cracking away. So, let's see if we can show you a few more getting over that net. <sighs> right, so, we've done the thing all carp anglers do when it's a bit quiet on the western front stop for a cup of tea. However, we have discovered that after this, we've only got one tea bag and each of us, which is never a good thing. I think it's a good thing. In what way? Whoever catches the next fish goes to tea bag. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I might hold this that though, if I, if I catch the next one. Um, but yeah, while we're here, we just wanted to give you a little insight of what we're planning to do with All About Angling. So we do have a Facebook page and the Instagram page, so make sure you check those out, I'll put a link into the description. Um, but really our main focus is going to be YouTube, giving you videos like this. Now we are primarily carp anglers, so the vast majority of our films are going to be based around carp, funny enough. Uh, we're hoping to have a little trip to France next year, in the meantime it will be all day ticket waters in the UK. Remainder of this year, certainly, and probably most of the next. In saying that, we're not just carp anglers. You know, as much as this is what we love, I, you know, love sea fishing and I love predator fishing. So we're going to be bringing you those, you know, whatever you guys want to see, we'll bring it to you. So if you have got any ideas, just drop a comment down below and we'll see what we can do for you. In the meantime, though, we need to have a serious chat about what we're going to do here. So what are you thinking, Josh, after the train's gone? That is that. This is the one thing that's this put me off doing a night here. It's the train. That would really, that'd really grind my gears. Really would grind my gears. Grind your rails. Yeah, that's terrible. That was terrible. terrible. Uh, but yeah, we've, like I say, in the little, uh, little VT we've done earlier, we've had one fish each. And the guy that was on this swim last night, he reckons he had about 20. So either he's full of it, or we're doing something wrong. So yeah, I did have that run earlier. Yeah, um, Josh did lose months. quite a nice fish, I think to a snag. Like I say, we don't know a whole lot about it. There's definitely quite a lot of root systems by the bank. I'm thinking of going a bit closer in. I am closer. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people overlook the margins. The margins are the biggest feature on any lake. That's actually what I Yeah, I mean, it don't matter where you go, the margins are always the biggest feature. You can fish to islands all you like, gravel bars, whatever. I stand by the fact that the margins are the biggest feature of any lake. So I've been dropping a little bit of bait just into the margin to the left of my swim probably no more than 10 foot out. So it should be a nice little bed down there. I've not seen any sort of reaction to the bait yet. 
But to be fair, the way this water is rippling because of the wind, I don't think you'd see anything anyway. So, it remains to be seen, but that's where I'm gonna go. What are you gonna do? Um, at the moment, it's just out by the more of us but getting us all together in one session is seriously difficult could just be due to work patterns and family lives and so on everything gets in the way as it always does uh, but we are going to try and have a social sort of once a month if we can get get together do an overnight somewhere and we will bring that to you we did also uh, two of your members yes they yeah. were out was it two or three days ago it was yesterday, I finished that session. Was it yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yesterday. Yeah, so Adam and Steve, who happen to be relatives of Josh, they went out yesterday to a fairly large day ticket water just down the road. And they they done all right, didn't they, Boz? Uh, yes, I think Steve had nine. Uh, Adam had three, one on each of his brands. Yeah, I mean, you must have grumbled. You know, to catch any fish on any session is always a winner if you're catching multiple in happy days. Yeah, like I say, guys, we will be bringing you more. We just wanted to sort of give you a rough introduction to what we're going to be bringing you here at the Bat Angling. Until next time, we'll see you later. So no sooner had we finished our cup of tea. No! Oh. <laughs> Not again. Josh had a run that we were just about to bring you. Uh, we was about to bring you that live and direct in the words of AJ Tracy. However, it's all gone oh, a bit Pete Tong. How disappointed does that young man look? <laughs> That's the second time, man. There might be tears before bedtime here, people. <laughs> nah, might not be. His girlfriend's coming down from McDonald's in a minute, so we're laughing. <laughs> so, that's the fish that never was, once again. Hopefully, we'll be able to actually show you one in a minute. Don't hold your breath. So, we're just about to pack up for the day. And I've had uh, a bit of a ripper of a take. It doesn't feel too bad. But it's, it's hard to say. It really is. They're, the one I caught earlier didn't really put up a fight at all. This one seems to be uh, pulling back a little bit. I don't think it's massive by any means, but I think it's a bit better fish than one earlier. So we're just uh, getting ready to go home. We see a fish jump out just where Josh had been fishing. I thought I'd be cheeky. Cast to it. What five minutes ago? Uh, yeah, must have been. Because we know for a fact there's a snag over there. As Josh has found out the hard way. Three times. So I'm very much trying to take it away from there for sure. That's uh, the first place I got snagged get in. Away from there. See it just below the surface. I'd say it's just a very angry common. <laughs> it's not even it's that big. Not, it felt no. a lot bigger than that, I must admit. I've just said it spooked another one that was just in the Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's 
not ready, is it's it? It's not very happy about it. It's going to come, though. It's got to. I don't want this way much. Oh, it's really... Putting up a much better fight than your... Uh, oh, yeah, this one. He knows he's this one. Yeah. Not the best looking fish I've ever seen. <laughs> the other two were quite uh, quite nice, the other two we've pulled out, but Ooh. Oh whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. There we go. Bigger than the, uh, no, just a yeah. very angry, angry fish. So he's got quite a bit of scale damage on him. That big old tail certainly works. All right, let's chuck him back. Head home. All right, that's enough for one day. We had three fish out between us. Biggest being nine pounds. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, not been as productive as. Like, but like I say, the conditions have been pretty atrocious actually. But hey, until next time, let's roll.